since I was a child, I helped in the kitchen, cut the dishes and helped to cut the vegetables. We bought the restaurant with, with very quite low price. At the beginning, we started with very minimum budget and we did everything ourselves. And I do remember that the working days was like 12 hours a day. So it, it was like, it was very hard. And it's like, um, like a small business runner, everyone starts from zero. Welcome to another section of ICARE Visual Conference. And uh, we are here today with uh, Yeni Cheng Ye, which you'll get to know about her in a moment. ICARE Conference is about uh, educating residents of Finland and also especially the international uh, community on how to make a better life and a comfortable life. So welcome. Uh, now we are going to talk to our guests of the day. How are you doing today? Oh, thank you. Um, I'm very well today. I'm happy to be here. We are very happy to have you here today. I would like you to tell us about yourself. Uh, a little bit about your background, your family, education. I'm 31 years old, uh, a female in Finland. I'm second immigration, Chinese immigration in Finland. And, and, and I've been raised in Finland. I came here since I was five years old. Okay. And, uh, and I went all my schools in, in, in Finnish language skills. So I can say that Finnish language is my strongest language. And uh, I've been graduated from this um, this University of Applied Science and I studied businesses and also after that I've I've started my own business my own restaurant business okay. because I've been I've been grew up in a restaurant runners family my my parents they have uh, been running restaurants for for very uh, for two decades okay. so it was very natural for me to start my own restaurant business when I've graduated uh, so right now I'm also this uh, Vanta, the city councillor, and also um, I'm mother of two uh, little kids, yeah. the four and six years old. Okay. Uh, we live in Vanta. We live in Vanta, Kivista, and uh, can say that I I have nothing to complain about my yeah. life. Sure, that's a very um, motivating uh, background. Uh, given that you are coming from China, grew up in Finland with your parents, and now we are here. So, can you tell us about your business? Um, uh, how long have you been doing that business? And um, let's say, how have you uh, come so far concerning the different challenges that you face in it recently? Yes, uh, I I've doing this restaurant businesses uh, for seven years. It's my own business, but I've actually I've started the business, uh, the working the restaurant. I've started earlier because since 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 I was child, I help in the kitchen. Okay. I, I help in the kitchen, wash the dishes, and help to cut the vegetables, <laughs> whatever. Okay. You know, so uh, I've seen the uh, restaurant business whole, uh, and I was in in the restaurant business, so. Uh, my own business I've run in it uh, I've run it for seven years okay. for seven years now and I've started with very small budget like uh, like my own restaurant I, I've ac I actually have started it with my this um, with my boyfriend and with very small budget and the the only thing we we invested actually is this tablecloth and we buy some uh, new forks and knives and new um, plates uh, yes, we bought the restaurant with with very quite low price, and then we didn't invest much. But we started that we work there ourselves. We work ourselves, so we uh, save this uh, staff uh, cost. 
So we we work ourselves, and then slowly, when we get profit, and then we buy new tablecloths, and we change new tables, and then we change new places, but plates, and everything so slowly. Um, but uh, at the beginning, we started with very minimum budget, and we did everything ourselves. And I do remember that the working days was like twelve hours a day. So it it was like it was very hard, yeah. and it's like. Um, like a small business runner, everyone start from zero. But um, what I bet, uh, what uh, my benefits is like uh, my parents was business runners, so uh, I've seen it and I know the, how the business. Uh, I I have a lot of experience, so it's the only problem is the budget that we started with, with very uh, small budget, but we made profit. So then we have uh, a chance to decorate the restaurant later. But okay. later, yes. Okay. So. Um, uh, yes, th this is how we started. Um, okay. okay, so um, uh, I think now it's running well, but you talked about the investments was very small. So if you could tell me, like, was it a loan? Was it like... Yes, I got loan from bank. Actually, uh, I, I got loan from bank and we made a business plan and we show it to the uh, bank and, and they said it's fine. So we got uh, this uh, start loan from bank. It was not very big loan, but still it helped us to start the business. Okay. Yeah. Okay. From the Finnish bank, of, of course. Of it, course. It, it, yes. <laughs> because it doesn't make sense that you get you get loan from a board and then you send it to Finland and you have to change and all the currencies yeah. and everything so it will need eat eat so much money fr from the middle so it's good that you get loan from Finland okay so um if i understand if i understood well you 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 have presented a very good business plan uh, i i can say that it was a business plan that it was okay to nor to nor their bank uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I I cannot say that it was very very great business plan, but uh, you know I've graduated from this business university of applied science from Hagahelia, yeah. so we we have practiced okay. all these business plans in the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> during the studies. So yeah, can I, I I can say that I have utilized all what I've studied That's straight true. to my new business. So that was good. Yeah, very perfect. Um, so uh, so how did you Build your customer base. How how how? What was unique about your restaurants that make people come there? Was it something yeah. special? Something like uh, discount? Because that like that was there like uh, uh, advertisements. Could you yes, I do have some small. Uh, uh, w w we started uh, with a advertisement first and also it was like all is all was 20 percent discount for the first uh, one month i don't remember clearly but it was like 20 percent discount for ev every product in our re re restaurant <coughs> and we do uh, a marketing in the restaurant area okay. nearby the re restaurant and we we hired a the posters um the, the the yes the the flyer the the deliver companies who 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 share the posters um, but um, it works and we did get many customers but uh, in the restaurant and I think in all businesses is about this uh, back coming customers that uh, they come again uh, they come once and if they like they will come again and they will bring their friends uh, so. I think that uh, not every customer likes our food, but um, it's about whole package. Also, this uh, uh, customer service, the food, the atmosphere, everything. So if it works, they will come back. And what we is expecting that we expect the customer will come back, but also bring their family and their friends, and their friends will bring their friends. So uh, in the restaurant business, like um, like in every business, we don't have chance. To make, uh, we don't have any, you know, big ch uh, chance to um, to to do things wrong. We we have to be sure that the customer is satisfied. The satisfied is actually very uh, is very important that the customer is satisfied. Maybe <coughs> they are more satisfied with the customer service. Maybe they are very satisfied with the food. 
but the package is need to be in balance. Yeah. 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 Okay. No, that's that's a very good one <laughs> to balance the the package and every aspect of your restaurant should have something calling or appealing to the customer it's really a good thing to to keep so um what can you tell aspiring entrepreneurs students who are uh, maybe maybe willing or thinking of being an entrepreneur or being someone an owner of a business like yours yeah uh doing own business um <coughs> there's very good thing is that it there's a very uh big freedom that uh, y um your time and everything you 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 have chance to um to make your own uh, things come true but also that <coughs> if you're not working to any company you have to re remember that you won't get this um this entire money <coughs> your elaka. What do you what does that mean exactly? Retired money. Oh right, pension. Yeah, pension. That okay. you won't get your pension. Yeah. It, but you have to pay your pension yourself. And also that you won't have this vacation, mm -hmm. this uh, w which is actually in, in Finnish law that if you work one one year you have one month vacation with a full paid salary so when you start your own business you won't have these benefits but you have your freedom and uh, you you can suppose your own ideas but um, if you start your own business remember that it's always a risk it's a risk but if you don't take risk, you will never be success. Uh, if you start your own business, you may be because you may success, and that is actually why we take the risk. That there is the possibility that you can you you can success. Uh, but if you stay in a small company, and also I've al also thought that if I go to some company and I start from this assistant or start from zero, and then slowly i it takes many many years and 10 years or how many years it takes that you will become a osastopalikka this department manager mm -hmm. and maybe then in in 10 years 20 years you will become a uh, ceo so it takes so long and it's the hierarchy in the company yeah. so even the company is actually it's it's very big but there's competition also the competition between all the colleagues everything is not funny i know it's not funny to co compete so it also depends on your personality if you like freedom and you you also you dare to take risk you dare to take risk it's always a risk and you know that you have to be mo you have to motivate yourself that no one is going to motivate you but o o of course if you get motivated by someone else outside but no one is going to motivate you but only yourself so you are the boss of yourself you manage yourself and so also the, about the timetable it's it, it's quite challenging but uh, r these days i guess that if you have very good business idea make it do it okay thank you very much um uh, with that said, we'll go for a two minutes break while we get back. Please stay with me. Get it. Ten. Are you ready for significant growth on Business Ray? Learn step by step guide to starting a business, business sustainability, adaptability, and risk countermeasure, community inclusion, marketing and profitability. Thought leadership, innovation and creativity, wellness and technology, re enable care, humanity and hospitality, education and engagement, identifying opportunities, networking and security, eye care conference. Watch life at raglabaldigital.com slash TV Ray.